Welcome to Reliance Training on getting started with Reliance Fault Tree. In this tutorial, we'll focus on adding gates and events and their associated data in Reliance Fault Tree. We'll cover adding an OR gate with two event inputs. We will assume that you have viewed our previous overview tutorial on getting started with Reliance Fault Tree prior to viewing this video. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the Fault Tree diagram pane in our drone example analysis. First, let's make sure that the top gate, drone-col, representing the quadcopter drone collision, is selected. If needed, we can select it either here in the fault tree pane or in the alt trees pane if preferred. To add a new event to this gate to represent an unstable flight, from the toolbar, we click the Insert Gate dropdown. This list shows all available gate types in Reliance Fault Tree. From this list, let's select OR. Notice how Reliance has now inserted a new OR gate under the Drone-COL gate on the far right of the diagram. Note that Reliance does not automatically select the newly entered gate or event when you insert it, but rather keeps the originally selected gate. This makes it easy to insert multiple gates or events at one time to the same parent. Next, to assign properties to the newly added OR gate, we click to select it. Notice that the Properties pane on the right now shows the properties for our new OR gate. We can enter some properties for this gate, starting with the name, and we can also add a description. Note how the updated name and description here in the Properties pane also appear in the Fault Tree Diagram pane. Now we're ready to insert events under this gate that can lead to the unstable flight. With F-Unstable selected here in the Fault Tree Diagram pane, in the toolbar, we click the Insert Event dropdown. This shows us all available Reliance event types. From this list, let's click Basic, and our first input event is added. Notice that the Insert Gate and Insert Event toolbar button icons remember the last gate or event type you inserted. This allows us to quickly insert multiple gates or events of the same type. So in this case, to insert another basic event under the new F-Unstable gate, we just click the Insert Event button itself. Next, we'll enter the properties for these newly entered basic events. We select the first new event, and we can enter details in the Properties pane. Starting with Name, we can also enter Description, we'll leave the default input model of constant probability, Note that there are several other choices for the input model. For additional details, you can consult the Reliance Help. And lastly, for this event, I'll go ahead and set the probability. And we can repeat this process for our second new event. We start by selecting the event. Once again, we enter the details in the Properties pane. Once again, Name Details. and description, and once again we'll set a constant probability value. Notice that our new gate and events appear with red tags in the corners to indicate that they have not been saved. We can save our changes by clicking Save in the toolbar. At this point, also note that our newly entered branch has yet to be considered in the calculations. Unlike the previously entered gates and events, which each show their Q value or unavailability values for the end time, the new gate and events do not yet show results. We can calculate to determine the quantitative results for each new gate and event and also see their impact on the overall fault tree results. To calculate, we click Calculate in the sidebar. 
The Calculate Fault Tree dialog appears. We can leave the default calculation settings and click Calculate to perform the calculations. When the calculation completes, the Calculation Results dialog appears. We can review the results here as well as in the Fault Tree Diagram pane. For example, I can click Close to return to the Diagram pane. And in the Fault Tree Diagram pane, notice that our new gate and events have their Q values displayed showing, and the overall top gate results have been updated to reflect this additional branch. And certainly, if desired, you can generate new reports to reflect the updated fault tree using the Reliance Fault Tree Reporting Options from the sidebar or the Calculation Results dialog. This concludes this Getting Started with Reliance Fault Tree tutorial with our focus on adding fault tree data such as gates, events, and relevant qualitative and quantitative data. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions or to obtain pricing and purchasing information.